almost done packing for Switzerland. And by almost done, I mean I pretty much have all of my clothes together and I just need to put them in a suitcase. Um, other than this, I have to pack my climbing bag and like snacks and what I'm bringing on the plane and stuff. But I like to pack early because I just feel more comfortable when it's done early. I stress out way less, so. We're driving to the airport. My mom's taking a video right now. My dad's in the back seat. He's not coming with us to Switzerland, but he's uh, taking us to the airport. So we're super excited for our trip today. So, we're feeling way less jet lagged than we normally do. And it's kind of a scary feeling because normally when we get off the plane, we're like these totally walking zombies and just can't figure anything out. So, it's weird. Um, but hopefully, that means we're just not going to be jet lagged this trip because last season we got killed with jet lag for three weeks and it was so unfair and everyone made fun of us. And I feel like I was half asleep every time I competed. So, I was doing really good not being jet lagged and I slept on the plane in my last video. I was bragging about how not jet lagged I was and how great I felt. And I don't feel that bad, honestly, like I felt way worse. But it's almost 3 p.m. and I'm like, man, I need a nap. So, we didn't sleep very well last night. I woke up at three and probably fell back to sleep at six and I had to wake up at eight. Waiting for the train. We got here really early because we just like didn't, you know, want to get lost or anything. And now we're waiting. Only another half hour until we can sit down and sleep. to the art museum and walked around, but we're tired and need to take a nap. Snack break! In the room warm up. Getting a good hammy stretch. Thanks mom. semis and I'm seriously so excited um, so I was in eighth place in my category last time I took the video and then I checked results again like 30 minutes later and I dropped down to 10th place in my category which is the last spot um, and I was just like oh no you know like it's always like really stressful to be on the bubble because you're like oh great just one more person needs to beat me and then I'm out and luckily um, no one else beat me so yeah, I'm going into finals, base, or not, sorry, not finals. Um, you can see where my brain's going. I really want to make finals. But um, I'm going into semis, you know, kind of in the last place, which is good because I get to climb early. The holds will be nice and fresh and um, can really go up from here. You know what I mean? So I'm just like super stoked. And my goal for the season was to make semis at all the World Cups and that I competed in. Obviously, there are more World Cups in this that I, you know, would have to do and make semis in. but starting off with the first World Cup and making semis is just like a really great step towards my goal and I'm just really excited to compete tomorrow.
Semis went well. Um, I got bonus on the first boulder, and I was honestly, I was like doing super well on it, and things were going well, and I got pretty close to the top, and then, then I fell, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna send this, and then I totally forgot my beta. I've never had that ever happen before. Like, I first attempt climbed it perfectly, and then on my second through whatever attempt, just botched it hard. Um, luckily, in my later attempts, I started to figure it out more, but you know, by then it was kind of a lost cause, so. It happens, but I'm happy with how I did on it because it's definitely like a boulder that in the past I would have had a lot of trouble with. Um, my second boulder was a really hard slab and I got to the bonus. Um, I think I could have sent it, but man, it was just really hard. I'm not beating myself up too bad over it. Uh, and then third just definitely kicked my butt, um, pointed out some weaknesses. And then fourth, um, I didn't stick the first move, which is a big dino. So. You know, then you kind of lose the entire problem, which is a bummer, but it was cool since I was out so early. I was the second climber out. I got to watch a lot of people climb and, you know, see the beta I missed or see better ways to do things, which was cool. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm proud of how I climbed and I'm excited to watch finals tonight. I think it's going to be good. And, you know, I think it was a really good first comp of the season and I'm definitely looking forward to um, my next competition, which is going to be in China and Nanjing and then Tokyo after that. and. You know, last year it took me like a couple of comps to get in the groove, and this comp definitely is helping me get into the groove, but I felt way more prepared actually entering the competition than I have before. You know, like, um, I'm starting to feel like they're, everything they throw at me I know, and I'm not just going to get totally hosed, which is really nice, you know, because you never want to walk away from the wall and someone unlocks that beta and you're like, oh my gosh, like, it would have been a, so easy if I did that. So that's kind of the rundown today, and um, yeah, so the rest of the day I'm going to watch finals, and then we have an early train out of Myringen tomorrow, and then kind of like a midday flight out of Zurich to go home, and spend a few days at home, and just get prepped for the next travel. So I never talked about um, watching finals last night. It was a really good show, and the boulder problems looked really hard, but... You know, it was really fun to watch, and it's cool because you get so many new ideas and just seeing how strong everyone is and how they climb the problems and if, you know, how they do it differently and just what they come up with, you know. It was really a good show, and I had a lot of fun, and I'm definitely bummed to be heading home, but it's always a little nice to head home, too, just to, like, sleep in your own bed and everything, but at this point, I'm getting used to traveling and being on the road, and I think the more I travel, the more I get used to it.